Hi folks, my name is Elisa. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, I create my dream wardrobe from scratch and I'm taking you along for the ride so you can hopefully recreate some of the things I make for yourself at home. This week, I'm gonna do a fabric haul with you. I recently went to something called the Knitting and Stitching Show, which takes place in the UK. They have one iteration in London and they have one iteration in Harrogate. And the one in London in Alexander Palace happened last weekend. My dear friend actually told me about this show. I wasn't aware something like this existed. She knows about my channel, she knows I love sewing, so she knew that I would love that show. And so we decided to go together. I think we decided that back in July. And now last weekend it finally happened and we went. It was a gorgeous fall day. I was really in the mood to stock up on some beautiful fabrics for the fall season. And today I'm gonna show you the three that I decided to get for my upcoming projects. So a couple of days before we went to the show, I saw on Instagram that one of my all time favorite fabric shops called Fabric Godmother, you may know about them if you've seen previous videos of mine, also had a stand on the show. And I knew from that moment that my entire budget for that day would be spent on the Fabric Godmother stand. And so it was. I went a bit nuts when I was there. I was so excited to see all of their beautiful fabrics live. I order from them a lot and I do have a good understanding of, you know, the different kinds of fabrics there are. So I usually land on exactly the thing that I want, but it's always a bit of a surprise and delight moment when I open the parcel because I don't actually know what it's like, right? You only truly know what the fabric is like when you hold it in your hands. So it was really exciting for me to be at the stand and then seeing all of those beautiful fabrics that I might have on my wish list and being able to touch them and to feel them and to actually see the print and the scale of it and all of that stuff. So I was really, really excited to be there. And I got um, three beautiful fabrics. Two of them are Fabric Godmother prints. So the company basically prints their own designs on different kinds of fabric which is actually really cool so you can actually get like a certain design on different kinds of fabric so for me for example this one i got on a cotton sateen but you would also be able to get this on a cotton so let me show you what this fabric looks like because it's so yummy i am so excited about this it has this gorgeous gorgeous drape to it and this beautiful print and i just think the colors are so perfect i am really excited about this i have about three meters of this so i could make a long dress but i'm somehow feeling that this would be a really really nice short dress with long sleeves and an interesting collar so i'm thinking that for this one i might actually do one of these i don't actually know what to call them i have to do some research but there are these roundish breast pieces that maybe have some ruffles on it and maybe i'm also going to do a nice border around it with a little collar on top um something like this and some bell sleeves that's kind of what i'm thinking for this at the moment and it's so so nice to the touch it feels really cool and soft and luxurious and um, i'm just so excited about the print because it's so different for me it's definitely a floral print um but i think that the green and the orange and the yellow on the pink with the black just i don't know it just screams witchy season no? So I feel like I have to get this done before Halloween. So that's the first one I got. Super excited about this. The ladies at the Fabric Godmother stand were extremely kind and attentive. They were excited because I actually wore a dress that I made from one of their prints. So I got a little pencil as a gift. Um, they gave a little gift to everybody who would wear something made from the fabric. So it was such a nice experience. It was really, really tough to be there. And the second fabric that I got is something that I've been eyeing for a while. And they have this print in different colors. They have that print with a white base. They have it with a pink base and now they also have it with a black i would actually think that it's like a navy a very very dark navy blue base and that's the one let me open it for you i couldn't be more excited about this specifically because i've been eyeing this specific print for a while but i was never so sure about the pink and white base but the black base hell yeah so basically it is also a cotton sateen like the other fabric and you can see that it has these beautiful floral stripes almost i want to call them stripes and i'm very very excited about this i got three and a half meters or four meters of this even because i know i want to make a long lined dress with this this also really calls witchy season to me so this has to be finished before halloween so i'm thinking about cutting the skirt so that the floral stripes are lengthways that's kind of what i'm feeling right now i really want to do a large oversized collar also with like maybe some embroidery around it and some long sleeves and maybe even some tears i'm not quite sure yet but something of that kind is floating in my head so really looking forward to this so these two fabrics i decided on really quickly i saw them i was like yeah that's it actually the first one i showed you my friend showed that one to me and i fell in love with it and then the last 
fabric that I picked up. I discovered very late in the process. I was almost thinking that I was done already, but no, I was not. Because then I saw this denim in two iterations, one in green and one in this absolutely gorgeous wine red color. I mean, look at this beauty. So this is basically a cream beige denim with red checkers on it. And I am so excited about this. And the plan for this actually is to become jeans. I want to make jeans with this. I was thinking pinafore for a moment, but I think the jeans won in my mind at least. So basically what I think of doing is to create exactly the trousers I'm wearing right now, which are from Zara. These culottes that don't have a side seam, only have an inner side seam and pockets on the back, no pockets on the front, because this is so busy that I think pockets only take away from the pattern. So I will only put pockets on the bum and make this a really nice culotte. So I'm really excited about this too. Let me know what you think about my ideas. There's still time to iterate, but I won't promise anything. So thanks so much for watching today. Next week's video is gonna tackle the sewing of the infamous Selena Gomez Only Murders in the Billing Boiler suit that I teasered last week. And I don't think you're ready. See you next week. Thank you.